Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm doing the final holiday look in my three-part series in collaboration with my friend Jordana. Jordana, I'm so thankful that you reached out to me and asked me to be a part of this collaboration because this has been such a fun experience and honestly, I I never do like tutorials or something like that on my channel. It's just not my thing at all, but this has been quite a fun challenge and yeah, I'm really happy that you guys are watching. Definitely head on over to Jordana Vargas's channel as well and check out all of her looks. I cannot wait to see them because her like blending and application skills are just impeccable. So I cannot wait to see what she comes up with over the last three days and yeah let's just hop into it today i'm going to be doing probably the most festive look out of my three three looks in this series we're going to be doing a bold red lip and i wanted to do a full face look for this last one even though the other two are just eye looks because i get asked all the time to do like full face applications but it's just not my thing like i said like tutorials are just not my thing on my channel but i figured i would do it as a little holiday treat so yeah let's just hop right on into it so i'm going to start with priming my eyes i've been using this like for far too long this is the cover effects cream concealer in the shade and light and i'm just going to put just a tiny little bit on my ring finger and really smudge that all over my eyes. So I'm gonna be using the Modern Renaissance today. I love this palette, it's just a good old classic. I'm gonna go into the shade Tempera right here, which is like a satin base shade, and I'm just gonna set down that concealer right away because it does have a tendency to crease on my um, hooded, oily lids. I feel like I say that far too often on my channel that I have hooded, oily lids, but it's just a fact and I feel like I have to like reiterate it all the time. I'm gonna go into the shade Raw Sienna. It's just a good neutral transition kind of shade. I'm not being too like particular. In fact, I'm really just trying to make it very diffused. And yeah, I love this shade. I love this formula so much. I've had my palette for like two and a half years and it still is so fucking good, so good. Next up, I'm going to go into Railgar right here, which is just a good matte orange shade. And I'm gonna pop that onto like the outer half of my lid. And then I just want to diffuse that edge and meld those two shades in together. So I'm just going to buff them in with no rhyme or reason really. On the same brush, I'm gonna go into the deepest brown in the palette, which is Cypress Umber. It's just this gorgeous like chocolatey brown. I really want to build like a little bit of an outer V situation. So I'm just going to pack it on to the outer portion and then use using this like um, smudger brush, I'm really just gonna take advantage of the shape and almost draw a slightly triangular kind of shape there and then I'm just gonna fill it in I'm feeling like cypress umber is pulling one a little bit too deep but also a little bit too cool in comparison to real gar so I'm actually gonna go into burnt orange I'm just gonna put that on like a really fluffy brush and kind of use that to meld cypress umber into the transition shade so that it looks a little bit warmer. I think I've kind of lost Realgar, that true orange. So I'm just going to, again, use that smudger brush. I just wiped off the Cypress Umber from it. And I'm gonna bring that again into like that inner portion of my crease to really bring that warmth around the eye. And that will help to frame out the glitter I'm going to use as well. Okay, so let's just do it. Let's just go into the glitter. I'm using this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, Sea Glass. I have mine in the shade Sweet Life, which is this like slightly copper with silver kind of shade. It's a really warm metallic. And I've only worn it maybe three or four times. And to be honest, it does have fallout. So I'm just gonna try to go in very light layers. What I'm gonna do is actually on the wand, like scrape off a significant amount of the product and just try to go in a very thin layer and shear it out and then I can build it up. I don't know if that will help. I'm just going right from the doe foot 
Oh my gosh, it's so pretty though. Yeah, I wonder if I've just been like packing on too much at once before. I'm really not too sure. And this doe foot makes it so they can really do like a pretty precise looking like half cut crease. So my camera died, it dies so freaking frequently. So I decided to just do another layer of the liquid shadow on the rest of my lid and it has so much impact. I haven't noticed any fallout and it's actually been probably about 40 minutes since I started or since my camera died rather. Um, and I put on my brows too, which I felt like I could get away with, but this eye look is so pretty. I'm really happy with the way that it's turned out now. I definitely am going to have to like tweak and refine it, but I'm going to go on and do my base now. So I'm going to use this, um, prime and fine poreless blur primer from Catrice. I'm testing this out. I honestly don't really know how I feel about it yet. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel drying. So I know that, but I, I honestly don't really have quite an opinion on it yet, but I've just been putting a tiny little bit in between my fingers and like rubbing it in and then I'll place it in mostly in the center of my face where I do have lots of pores, like large pores. And I think I'm smudging some eyeshadow on my face now. So that's great. <laughs> some glitters. And then whatever's left after I've really mostly applied the product to the center of the face, I bring it up onto my uh, my forehead wrinkles and down onto my chin and across my cheeks so that I do end up covering most of my face but it is concentrated on my nose and right here around my nose where I do have the largest pores. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Pixie Correction Concentrate. I have this in the shade Brightening Peach and I just always apply it the exact same way every single day. I just like jam this Real Techniques brush into here and just buff it across underneath my eyes and it really does help to cancel out that blueness. You can see the difference. It's already like more lifted and brightened. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with this Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. This is in the shade Cashmere. This is literally the most perfect shade for me right now and this formula is so good. I have never really heard anyone raving about this product but I love the way this feels on my skin. I love the way this looks and wears on my skin and I'm just um, rubbing it between my fingers and I'm just going to like pretty much lay it onto my face. Nothing, no th like thick or heavy areas. I just really want to put an even base down. I might need a little bit more actually, but yeah, I don't feel like I've ever really heard anyone talk about this product and I I'm in love with it. It's so nice. After I do this, I just go in with a damp sponge and I blend it out. I find if I apply this product to the back of my hand and go right in with the sponge, it can look a little bit cakey. So I found if I do that really thin layer across the entirety of my face, it just blends so unbelievably effortlessly and so perfectly. And it takes no time at all to blend it in when I do it like this too. So I might build up a little bit more coverage in the center of my face because I do tend to find um, that's where I have the most pigmentation is here on my cheeks as well as in the center. It's very red in the center of my face. So I'm just gonna take like not even a half a pump, just the tiniest little amount. And again, smush it between my fingers so that it's a nice like thin layer and just pop it there in the center. Now to conceal under the eyes, again, I'm using another Catrice product. I actually was recently sent a fair amount of Catrice products, so I've been testing them all out. I'm gonna be using the Liquid Camouflage um, High Cover Concealer. So far, I'm really enjoying this. This is really nice. Um, I wouldn't call it like a full, full coverage, but it definitely is like a high coverage concealer. And this one is in the shade that I do not know. I feel like the shade name was on the like outer packaging, but it might be shade 005. It does kind of have a bit of a weird scent. Like it's for sure fragrance, so I would be weary of that if that's something that concerns you. But 
so far I haven't found like it breaks me out or causes like my eyes any sort of irritation. So just been getting some use out of it. But this is a touch too light. Like you can see how freaking light it is. But since I'm going kind of glam today, I feel like it's gonna work. And I, I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge again, semi-aggressively. It's really nice and brightening though, this shade, because it is a little light, it really does offer that brightening under the eyes. And I've been thoroughly enjoying this. I'm just gonna use what's left on the sponge to kind of brighten my chin because I can see in the viewfinder that only under my eyes looks bright. So I'm just going to use what's left to kind of brighten up some other areas of my face. And before I go in and set anything on my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. This is the, well, matte bronzer in the shade Baked. I freaking love this so much. I can't stop reaching for this bronzer. It's so good. And I'm just using a like dense stippling brush. This one's from ColourPop. And I literally just pack it onto the product. And then I just go onto the back of my hand to make sure it's kind of worked into the brush. So there isn't like a lot being deposited on my hand, but it's also nice because it makes it a little bit easier to blend, getting rid of a little bit of product. And I literally just start stippling it on. I, I start back here because that's where, if I get the most pigment there, I don't mind because I can kind of spread it across the rest of my face as well as it kind of blends into my hairline there. So I just start at the back and then start slowly diffusing it and then I'll pick up a little bit on the back of my hand and just I'm very like generous with this because this just blends so effortlessly into the skin and it just looks perfected it's so good there's never a harsh any harsh lines or any sort of, like it never ever looks too pigmented Honestly, with that bronzer, I feel like I can just keep building it up and blending it out and it never ever looks cakey or heavy or artificial. It just looks so freaking good. I love it. And I have been wearing it very frequently as like the only thing on my face other than my like base products. No highlighter, no blush, nothing, just this. And it just looks so nice and natural. It's so good. And then I'll often just take my sponge and just further blend it so that it really just looks like skin. This stuff is just freaking amazing. It's so good. I highly recommend giving it a try. There are minis. I probably could have purchased a mini instead of the full size because I haven't even had to spin this up yet and I've had it for like almost six months and I've not even had to twist it. I just constantly am using the product that's on the top of this. So it's uh, a little goes a long way for sure. So I just wanna make sure there's no creasing under my eyes. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm just gonna pop this right where I have the most darkness, which is still kind of peeking through. And I'm gonna do a very light bake. I don't know why, even though my under eyes are dry, I love to bake and I know that baking is like so not a thing anymore but it's just what works for me to make sure that I have that brightness but also that my concealer doesn't just like live in the troughs below my eyes. I've been using this palette quite a lot lately. This is the Catrice by Iman blush palette and I've been really liking all of these shades. Actually surprisingly this shade Luxor is like stunning on me I like on my skin color I love it but I'm gonna go into Cairo here and I'm just going to try to apply very little so I'm actually just dusting it off inside of the mirror I'm just going to pop it onto the apples of my cheeks this is a really nice bronzy neutral shade and then the last Catrice product I'm gonna be using today is the Catrice by Iman Highlighter Palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Victoria. I haven't tried this one on my complexion yet. And I'm using a fairly large brush for this. This is actually the Real Techniques Contour Brush, but I wanna just really like dust it over my whole cheek. Oh, it is a little bit of a 
more golden shade than I was expecting. I mean, it does look golden in the pan, but on my skin, it really is showing up as like true gold. So, uh, I mean, I'm stuck with it now, but I'm going to just kind of buff that away with a completely clean brush. Just try to buff it into the complexion. So even though that color definitely is like a touch too deep for my skin, I honestly don't think that it looks too harsh at all. And I'm going to go into the exact same shade, Victoria, and pop that into my inner corner as well on my eyes. I think that's going to pair really nicely with those warm tones on the eyes. I popped a ton of mascara on my upper lashes, but I haven't been able to do my lower lashes yet because I need to still do my lower lash line. So I'm going to hop back into the palette. I'm going to use a mixture of raw sienna and burnt orange, both of those um, like mid-tone brown transition shades and I'm just gonna pop that pretty liberally I think on my lower lash line and this might be risky for me I never put black in my waterline but I kind of feel like I want to do it today so I'm just gonna go for it I have this Milani stay put waterproof eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna put it in my waterline, but I think I'm just gonna do like the outer half and then kind of see from there if I wanna continue with it. So I feel like I'm gonna to totally cover up my entire face, but can we give it a try? Oh my God, that is so intense. Should I just go for it? Should I just do it all the way across? And then I'll use that same brush to really smudge that through my lower lashes. Wow, I literally never do this. Never, ever, ever, because I do feel like it kind of closes off my eyes, but I don't hate it. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and seeing like that line at my lower lash line, and that's really all I can see in the viewfinder. But from here, like in my mirror, which is only about like two feet away from me, it does look like a dramatic lower lash line, but it doesn't look like the only thing on my face. So I'm gonna try to balance it out a little bit with a bit of a stronger brow. I'm just gonna use my Shade and Light Eye Palette because this is my Pan That Palette. And I'm just using one of the powders on an angled brush. And I just want to really define my arch a little bit more. I feel like I might be able to balance out that uh, smoky lower lash line by just redefining my brows and then I am going to do a bold red lip too, so I think that will balance it out as well. And so the lip that I'm going in with is from ColourPop. I have had this lipstick for probably like almost four years and it's still holding up just as strong as it once was. This is the shade Bitchette, which is like a true red. It has a little bit of like a crimson tone to it, so I feel like it's just perfect for this time of year and I feel like it's going to be so, so festive. So I'm just going to pop it on straight from the bullet and... Uh, see how this goes. I haven't worn this for a while, but it's a beautiful shade. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's luscious. So here is the completed look. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I had really just put a ton of products in front of myself and sat down and started playing. And I'm really happy with how it all came together with the glitter on the lid and the bright, bold red lip. This is such a fun, glam, festive look, a little bit smoky. And I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me. Definitely head on over and check out Jordana's channel. I cannot wait. Like I said, I've said so many times in this series, but I'm just so excited to see what she comes up with for her holiday looks. And I really want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, no matter what you celebrate. Just I hope that you have a chance to relax and enjoy yourself and spend some time with people that you love. And yeah, that's absolutely everything for today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.